space to like Virtus Pro do sick long V control with like a deep smoke and and coordinated flashes and so on. But uh, this the A area, if you look at the map, is 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 segmented. So there's there's parts there that are intended to just be taken control of by both teams, and it's not very easy for CDs to hold on to them, especially considering you play A with just one person sometimes. The Ska is doing, and he's here to spot. All these players on the, on the terrace, if they don't run up long A, he's just got such a good spot. He, they're running into crossfire. No one is dealing with spot. Well, they can see all the flashbangs as well connecting in the, the ramp. Oh, 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 automatic oh, with oh. three kills. What? Looking for a fourth. Oh, he's picked my. it up. He's going no, to get to see it. Automatic with a beautiful pistol ace. What the? What a play. <laughs> I wish you guys could have swallowed his uh... nuts. That shot after half blind. Damn, all headshots. And it seems like every round automatic plays he's getting. He's he always has the ability to just a what was that? Dude, that's literally fish in a barrel. I mean he was just looking over the lip of the barrel and just shooting down into and and uh you know, I think complexity had lost that round before it started, in a sense, running up lower A ramp, leaving Ska alone at long. Like automatic was just phase one. They kill him. They gotta come up and then they gotta do a little crossfire between door and long A. I hate when teams just leave long A. Like if you don't have anybody try to circumvent long It won't matter. Def manages to pick it up, and I don't know if it's called that he just mollied the bomb. Uh, rotates are coming out, but the A side has been taken. Android can also control rotations from the spot. Doesn't actually want to leave here. Well, we have a flashbang to play with now, and uh, that could be a little bit of an issue trying to stave off this push. That being said, Cloud9 only have a smoke. They do have two kits. Android taking the aggressive defensive position. And will be picked up. As a result, we'll scar. In the meanwhile, Cloud9 are going to be moving around as one through doors, through mid. And that will be in Death's arms with two kills. And Complexity do pick up their first round. That was looking a little bit sketchy, but they managed to fend off the 4v3 retake. And that was Automatic's first death. 11 kills already. That's crazy, yeah. 11 kills already, and five of those being the pistol ace. Um, incredibly more valuable frags. And um, yeah, we're on the fifth round here with a, a, four, a save, sorry, excuse me, a save. Good round from Def, nice round from Android as well. Uh, playing the rotation game perfectly, Def to, to recover that bomb just in time before the molly made it difficult. And uh, even though automatic did work at A, it ended up being A site to, to be circumvented. And this eco is very much off the back of that derpy round where Shroud and Shui both whiffed opportunities. And automatic had to clutch and they only had him left alive. So they lost four players in that round. That's going to catch up with them here. So you're expecting to see Complexity put bullets to faces. And pretty easily so. Stewie up on B platform. What can he get done? 
Let's have a look. Very close to landing that one time. I mean, you look pretty close to the head. Now, Skadoodle comes through with two Peter 50 frags. But he will die. Nothing witnesses the death of his teammate. And he follows suit. Android with four in this round. So, already having a much better start than he did on train. Yeah. He seven kills. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's already got a much better, better start. He was like... Uh Hadn't got a kill for nine rounds or something like that, right? Yeah, he he was 009, 0010 uh, before he started to get anything mm -hmm. in the in train. Yep, and sometimes it's just a change of scenery that can help you feel reinvigorated as a player. Sometimes just a little break, step outside for a second, get off your computer. Maybe it's just a bad mental state that he was in. Who knows what it? Who knows what the case may be? He's surreal here to lead the charge with an op. The smoke is obviously going to obscure his vision. The smoke's opaque. Stewie has taken this opportunity to push up on the B platform. Nothing holding the tight angle. Position that he can just sit in if the execute comes in. Sometimes it won't be a checked spot. Actually has just shown his head. So Death has definitely seen that, but Stewie then takes it upon himself to go for the peak and drops Death where he stands. Well, the P250 is going to try and go back in for another one. Here comes nothing. So that double crossfire is going to reap out two kills and only losing one in return. But this is the issue for Cloud9 now. Unfortunately, even though they got two kills, they weren't able to get their hands on either of those rifles. But there's <coughs> automatic landing, the one tap, and the bomb gets dropped to boot. He's also in a position where he can relocate oh another one tap. Automatic, no. calm down. He's going to get fragged, but he's done 97 damage to Ape. The individual performance, again by automatic, could have just single handedly won them this round. He was actually being so aggressive there. I mean, he was in a position to maybe get a kill, but then also maybe die, which would have made it, like, pretty favorable for complexity, whereas he could have fallen back, but he's just so on point right now. Um, and, you know, as an eco. So, take some risks. Ape almost dies, too. Uh, it's three HP. Literally half the save versus the eco right now. How depressing must that feel? How de Man, how depressing. That is so depressing. Cloud9 in a round that... This is a play the green day. Fuck a little bit. Oh, man. Definitely has green day playing. Blaring in the ears right now. But he's going to be able to save the AK, so it's not quite as emo as it could have been. But here, here is the play from Automatic. That, that is nuts. Like, not just a one tap, but the bomb gets dropped out, forces Real and Ape to try and come around the side, and then 97 health to Ape on top of the first two kills of the round. Yep. Double AWP in now for Cloud9. Mm. Double, uh, double AWP. Android's actually just got the Tech9, which, I'm, I mean, after seeing him play so much better this time around, I guess, you know, he's just, what you, you're not really going to ask your teammate for a gun. Uh, and there's no clear, I guess, worse person, I guess, in a sense, to be like, you know, throw me that. But, uh, Probably happy with the Tech Nine. I would. I never feel like I'm at a disadvantage with the Tech Nine personally. So I can see where he's coming from. Shroud is going to hear that flash. I mean, knows that drop has been aggressed on, and uh, nothing on the opposite side to defend E box. What happens here? I I wonder. Now automatic has gotten frisky so many times over at A. That's going to at the very least, even if he doesn't push his hold complexity's attention. That means have him sac have them sacrifice one player to dealing with that. Death gets dinged. But uh, I'm not sure if he realizes what that dink was. Oh my god, nothing just got so aggressive. He actually barely took any damage, though. And off that flash again, just really wants control. Of the gets the kill. Just ruthless. Ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. That's a, just the perfect word. I mean, like, you consider that super aggressive? He actually barely took damage. He took, like, 20 damage between those two peaks. How, how do you play up against that? Because Ape and Death are in positions where they're like, okay, we'll just chill, we'll wait for the molly to clear, and then we'll try our play. Nothing peaks three or four times and gets both of them. Yeah, three or four times, and it is with the cover of the molly. The molly looked like it was just like, there's no way you can get in this without getting hurt. And somehow, off the corner of it, was able to. He looked like he just wanted to peek even if the molly was going to hurt him, though. That's the scary part. So, some of the most aggressive CT plays that I've seen in quite a while from Cloud9. Automatic pushing consistently around the back, nothing with the peaks. And this is a map that typically a lot of people say is, you know, kind of productive to the CT side because you can't get wow. information that easily or freely. And Automatic with the perfect flashbang, trying to trade out for a third. Again, the damage has been inflicted. Skadoodle. 
can see he did spot the legs just jumping up and he uh, changes his position as a result, or at least where he's aiming into. Android has the M4, but uh, it's going to be the molly that wrecks him. And to be honest, he's just getting aim punched all over the place anyway. Yeah, yeah not much you can do about that at all. And just the, the clinic. Cloud9 closing out our knights again very quickly. Um, it seems... So complex, we can prove that they can get something going. But yeah, it's you know, it's 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 just like in terms of mentality, Cloud9 feel superior to cl complexity for good reason. On in terms of talent, they are by far ahead of them. Uh, each of them, they also just have a better pedigree. I think play against better teams more often. Finished off a professional season, 25 and one, not drop, well, dropping one game to Echo Fox actually, and uh, and are just coming off a huge land win, and it's just like. You know, can they be bothered to play slowly when they're they're not losing? Yeah, they, they gave you train to like, uh, oh my gosh, to try to show that you could be good enough, but uh, like, haven't shown anything here. Uh, surprisingly, huge rotate. Skadoodle has evacuated his site almost completely. It's trying to get him, trying to make it in quickly at this point. Oh, quick readjustment is no good, and now they're just on a full like five man retake. First kill is had though. Automatic has given a gateway for the rest of Cloud9 to try and force the way through. The look where the bombs dropped as well, Launders. Out on the doors. Mm. They have a little bit of a cross from Skadoodle. The one frag they got on that retake was the perfect one. They can't even just recover the wow. You've got a question. Why are you taking the bomb over to that part? I I, I mean they like he was running up a ramp, but did they have no nades or anything? I I mean I don't even know. I don't even know. But they didn't have one smoke for the door. And it wasn't even late late that late into the round where they had use they would have had used it for an execute or something like that but the uh, they couldn't even there was five men up into the site they couldn't even recover the bomb or kill like a single person after like four alive every single one of them gets a kill on cloud nine that's crazy automatic now 17 and three <laughs> going through into the 10th round because why the hell not i know i don't even know like how to be so amazed like i don't even know how not to be amazed <laughs> I don't, like Kind of runs out of words, runs out of feelings of how good this guy actually is. Mm -hmm. Shroud, another player that can have his uh, his day and take a, a map away, has picked up two. Looking for more, Stewie misses out on his opportunity. Stewie hasn't necessarily set the world on fire so far in this couple of maps, but it's not been required. The rest of his team has been doing just fine. Ape and Surreal are making a real go of this round as Ape comes in with another P250 frag. Here comes Surreal as well, down to automatic. You can't bet against him in these kind of scenarios, but Surreal does have an open go for the repeak. Automatic was in transition, and Complexity will pick up their first round in four, three to seven, but an easy rebuy for Cloud9. I'll say that, like, Surreal knows when to be aggressive, at least, like, slightly so. I think there's some, like, some some aura of, like, fear, or I guess that, that Cloud9 imposes on teams, and, and uh, he seems to know when, like, this is just a good time to take a peek. A lot of people, like, straight up hold an angle, and might let uh, Cloud9 gain too much stress distance, but uh, there, that was a good time to just go out again. You know, Cloud9 probably expect the space out of respect. But, you know, step one is hold for pushes, and, like, when you play a team that's way better than you, step one is hold for pushes because they're going to try to disrespect you, they're going to push, and they're going to be they're going to be lazy, right? They're not going to play super good CS um, because you have to, like, respect is earned, and that's fair enough, you know? That is fair enough. Complexity will do that to a team they're much better than as well. But uh, if you can't even do that, then you lose. No, that's just step one. Once you once you do do that, though, you push them into this second tier of playing where they're maybe a little more careful. They don't push, but they're not giving you sights. And um, no, Cloud9, I mean, Complexity, excuse me, are still just breaking into being able to do that. Def is the only player who clearly is respecting the Potential of automatic going for that rotation and does pick him off. So that will funnel the CTs into a more sparse defense. But Suri 2K is finally going to start to land some kills. Not the perfect moment. He gets tagged with the smoke, has to relocate. Did he just hit a shot? Oh, no. Was, I don't even know. Someone hit a shot on him. I think it was through the smoke. It may very well have been Surreal, who's just got killed by nothing. Shroud goes in with the A4. Ape now with 25 seconds has the task of planting the bomb, which he does have in his back pocket. Skadoodle misses the shot on the cross. That's going to give Ape an opportunity now to, to maybe play some mind game sh shenanigans. Skadoodle, I think, missed another one, but fortunately Shroud is up in the face of Ape. Mm -hmm. Eight to three, Complexity's economy not in great shape. Surreal and Ape can force 
Well, apart from that, I think it's probably just going to be a few drop pistols and not much else. Yeah, what they dare? Uh, it looks like they've actually just picked up an AK. Oh, no, they are buying down. Somebody, yeah, this is a late, super late buy. Oh, wait, no, no, no. What? Oh, they have some money left over, right? No, I think it's a it's a bug. They've they've expended all. Oh, their okay, okay, okay. That makes yeah, sense. sometimes the the funds that you see under the players' names are a little bit slow. So I think there it was just a late call to buy because typically you buy first and then you like, strategize after that. But if, if you see a team buying that late, they just spent too much time thinking about like, do we even buy here? And then I guess Ape has a has got a plan. I mean, again, he's been very very good about making sure they do have a plan when they they don't have a, a really big buy. I guess you could call it. Is that a flash? That's that's not a flash. <laughs> that did not go far. <laughs> I don't think it did. Anyway, maybe hoping um, they would flash them if they pushed up mid already. Yeah, if I mean if they're that close. I don't. Did it go that far? I mean, it seemed like a practiced one, but it didn't seem like it went far enough. So the force from complexity, clearly feeling the pinch, clearly feeling that. On their choice, by the way, they win the knife. They elected to go T side, and they've only picked up three. So they're in desperation mode now. Shroud, his A1S, his trusty weapon, is very good for two kills. He gets charged down from the Tech 9, but now there's another two ter kind of terrorists in prime position to strike, one of which is automatic with the spray down with his A4. And uh, finally, we'll see Death, who is coming up through mid. Um, no real hope here. Oh, hold on a second. He's going to land the first headshot. Oh, and Stewie actually just comes up. Yeah, they're just, just for a moment, a glimmer of hope. Uh, good cleanup from both Shroud, who was in a really tight spot, and then Automatic, uh, after nothing and U uh, Uber killed uh, nothing and after Uber killed nothing and Shroud uh, behind the APC, and then jumping out of heaven, and the execute looked pretty, uh, pretty fierce, I should say. They, they, the the spacing was pretty good. They all got up into the site. It seemed like the trading was going on down, and then I think it was just maybe not having the weapons to supplement the buy. That got in their way a little bit, and it looks like another buy. Oh my god, that nade just absolutely eviscerated them. Molly damage coming out. They have nothing left. <laughs> Two Molly uh, kills from nothing. It was nothing's nade as well. Nothing's nade as well. It's got so much damage in that round. The fireman. I mean, must be like 400 damage at least in that one round, which is just nutty. By the way, I'd, I'd also like to highlight that uh, automatic. Not, not a bad map of CS, but the first one as well. Yeah, what's he's, he at? He's on something like 46 kills, I think, collectively over the two maps. Oh, that's crazy. And there hasn't even there wasn't even that many rounds in the last map. I mean, no. his his score line was good enough for 30 rounds, but there was only like 21, 20. Yeah. Three or something like that. I think he got like 28 kills in the first map. I could be wrong on that, but if he if he had 28 kills, then I mean he's he's motoring along. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Ooh, Uber. Hello. Shroud gets completely decimated looking through the window. I can't help but feel this is just a drop in the the ocean. Wanders. Even if they win this round, does it does it really amount to a great deal? Uh, at this point, I'd just be going for clips too. Medic falling back into the site. His teammate died. I mean, typically you want to push, but still, I think you know it's an eco. And here he is jumping up, staying alive, looking for another kill. Low on health, is going to need some assistance. Actually gets team flashed on the site and uh, taken down. 3v3 now. Oh, Uber with another 1D. Could it be a sick round from him? Close up is nothing. Whoa. Actually, just turned really quickly. I'm not sure if he thought he was going to get blinded. He may have been part of that. You can see Surreal for a few moments who uh, scampers back down again. You can also hear the footsteps to his right hand side, hence the pre fire through on stables. Oh, he's using the stables actually against Death, but Death is there with a Deagle. A lot of Deagle frags in this round. It's down to Stewie2k now. Part of that dynamic duo. His teammate has been picked off. Stewie2k is going to be going onto the site, and he does have a kit, so if he holds this down, he could actually got the defuse outright. But Death is now oh, making a move. Oh, that was such Stewie a good way. lands the beautiful shot. And it's going to be Cloud9 to pick up in the 11th round. A real game of cat and mouse, but it goes the way of the CTs. That was that was such a good wait from Stewie because, like, if wow, that was just such a good wait. If he if he had jumped up and then Death spots him, but he still hasn't decided to run out yet, then he could just hide like right behind the rock or only have shoulder peeked. But Stewie waited until he was definitely out. See here, pause, and then that's it. Like as soon as he waited, Death pulls his knife out. It was like he would have peeked already. It was just perfect. Such a mind game and, and such a clutch time to, to pull that off. Cloud9 now trying to pick up a 12th round on this half. 
Automatic continuing to impress with his 20-odd uh, kills. Drew 2 is the first player to chime in for a kill. Surreal will see nothing for his troubles there on long. And it really does have a sense, a strong sense of complexity just delaying the inevitable here. I mean, Cloud9 are going to win this map, but I can't see a way complexity yet back in this. Yeah, and that was, that was really nice from Shroud. I mean, that Molly, that, car that carpet of Molly, uh, which is the sound of him burning, triggering Shroud to peek, and then you know, finishing off that kill. There's no way he was going to escape that. I thought he would be able to, well, it's real, off the corner of a smoke. Dodges a flash, too. That was a nice dodge, but automatic, still winning the trade. One Android player remaining. Spanked through the smoke as well, down to 26. And guess what? Blank. Stewie <laughs> <laughs> 2K shanks him, 22 and 7. So, automatic, if if I'm correct on 28 kills, and if someone could just uh, confirm that for me, that would be awesome. If I'm correct, then that's 50 kills he's got between 50 these two kills maps. in two maps. And he's not. this map's not even over, and that last map was only 16-8. Yeah, that's just, how do you even deal with that? <sighs> I'm trying to have his kids. <laughs> trying to have his kids. Good luck, bro. I know. He's probably just hounded by women at this point. <laughs> Them skills pay the bills. And it's real. Give me the man to have the kit. Def has actually gone frisky at A. Push through. Automatic. Moving up into the site. Uber continuing his pistol dominance. Hitting a nice one tap. And a second. Two players left. Shroud. Alone in a 1v4. The first kill comes out. It looks nice. He's in a 1v3 now. The flank is quick, but no damage has been dealt. And Uber, man of the hour with the pistol. Got those two 1 Deegs. Hit these three USP shots. He's now in the double digits. Throws a lifeline to his team complexity. And will we have Cloud9 by? I mean, almost certainly, right? Yeah, you'd think so. Uh, sorry, I was trying to look as well at the same time to see how many kills are. Uh... Automatic got in the first map. I guess it doesn't really matter. All we know is it's, it's a man with a map. And he's playing like a god. Cloud9, however, do have maybe a little bit more work to do. This victory is not going to come easily. A team that everyone expects to qualify for the Anaheim finals. See Stewie 2K holding by himself. Complexity. Only have Surreal really watching A. In a forward position, and considering they do have a flashbang, that could be nothing that neutralizes him in this round, but he's actually holding off on long for now. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. There's two players There's two players at A, but uh, both these players are in danger of getting wrapped. It's actually not that big a deal. They can just they can just push back if they need to. But there we have Surreal just escorting his uh, UK brother in, into the into lower A. Def is going to hear some business going on over at long A. Smoke comes out as well, and this flank should be solid. Should be definitely going to get the first one, but Skadoodle answers back with the P250. Down he goes, and the Max 7 is going to start to rip through chests, faces, arms, and legs. Cloud 9 do concede a fifth round. Uh, Eco incoming. And then the rifle round. Ruckus continues. Ruckus? Ruckus, yes. Cloud 9 to bring the Ruckus. I assume that so. Maybe complexity can pull off some epic comeback. Who knows? Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You're giving complexity zero percent chance, then, right? Uh, yeah. I guess until they, I mean, I guess until they prove it. I mean, even in the, I mean, it's just kind of like uh, like I don't even know what to say about some of the rounds that happened. Like the mm -hmm. the round where nothing was peeking through the molly. It's just so much just confidence, you know. Just like they haven't even broken down to the point of them playing defensive or even. I feel like trying that hard. It's so been some some good stuff, I suppose, but still lots to be seen. Solid on the anti ecos. I mean, you think a team is like beastly as Cloud9 be able to convert these uh, anti ecos? Uh, Complexity did a good job. <laughs> Def has done so much damage. Poor, guy. or sorry, surreal. Poor guy has not gotten a kill, but basically done 300 and then goes down. Oh, that is a mad amount of damage that he just done by himself. Yeah, those bars are just empty. Pretty incredible stuff, but it's automatic that has the UMP from the corpse of Surreal. And now it's up to Def, who's going to use that MP9 up round the back. Comes face to face with nothing. First player to fall now. Those <laughs> low members are still alive. Not for too much longer. Three on three now. 
And of course, remember that each weapon that's taken away from Complexity plus an age plus the armor is an investment that Complexity will have to dig deep to get again. Fortunately for them, so far, it's only two SMGs that have traded hands. Oh, where's Automatic going? He's in here with the bomb. Oh, he actually dies with the bomb, too. I think it's spammed through the smoke in Ape. Ape. Ape found a really good spot into the site. Uh, he pushed through and then decided to go over towards Long, so that helps his teammates rotate in. It's really annoying when your teammates will rotate but not far enough in. Like, someone will rotate into Heaven, and it's like, yeah, Heaven's a good spot to be in, but it's a lot better if the second guy can go Heaven because it's faster to get there. The first guy can, like, get into the site, so you actually have some kind of crossfire going on. So I liked Ape just going running all the way over to Long um, to allow his team give us, create some space for his teammates. Here's the rifle run that we were discussing earlier. Cloud9. Oh, gonna concede the first kill. So Surreal plays aggressive up through mid and does get the pick onto automatic. Not too shabby at all. Nothing with two though through drop zone. Jesus. Didn't quite catch it, but now with this smoke he can try and wrap himself around the back. Unfortunately, Ape had already pushed in aggressively. Who was going to come out second best from that trade? One that could have put this round to rest. Instead, it's back up in the air again. Shroud's going to be the first player to come out with 12 health. And the incendiary... Is that Molly really good? Is that I right on... I think it landed just behind Ape. I okay. think he's okay right now. Oh, just in front of him instead. Had it have landed behind the rock, he may have been pushing out into no man's land and almost certain death. Skadoodle, oh. the healthy of the two members. I just heard the AWP shot ring out behind him, and that is the teammate's life being extinguished from his perspective. 50 seconds to go, and it looks like it could be a boost into drop for Ape and Surreal. They almost definitely should have just let him let him work oh, that yeah. pick. Yeah, that's that's awkward. Oh, they just keep <laughs> They're like, okay, they could, you know, it's going to be trying to make a play right now and just gives up that. I don't know if he's going to fall off. It looks like he really wants to just use this some way, so... Here's a flash to try to bait, and they're going to respond to it. Uh, are they going to peek? It looks like they just he just missed them. 20 seconds left. I mean, one thing is known is that Skadoodle is at B. That he's, he's definitely committing to the site. And here it is, 13 seconds, but he's got to go back for the bomb. Not in the best spot either. And this round is all but lost. Oh, but just, wow, with just enough time. Oh, Going to be popping up his one. Oh, no, the no, 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 no. Can he do this? No, ape. That would have been a showcase of beautiful movement resulting in a bomb plant, last second bomb plant, and uh, yeah, avoiding those bullets. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, complexity just kind of played it right. I mean, apart from, apart from kind of sullying the boost, um, I think they tried like a couple of times, didn't end up working out. But they didn't, they played, they played it together, they, you know, and they realized... Skadoodle was still a threat to make a play. They they stayed on guard, and then they moved in together as well. Well, somewhat together. Interesting. I feel like a lot of teams in that kind of economic situation would have gone for the full buy. They actually were all able to afford AKs and Kevlar, but clearly wanting Skadoodle on that orc. So instead, it's going to be a full-on, well, as odd as it sounds, a full-on half buy because they're going to have the Kevlar pistols and full nades. Oh, here, here we have the leading member. Wow, I mean... They, they are not falling for this. They barely use anything. Ouch. But uh, complexity members have pushed up already. Now the incendiaries come out. The smokes, however, in response. Players rotating in, and they've all falling off tree as well. Good flashes. Everyone's blind. Yeah, counter flashes were on point by Cloud9, but so were the engaging flashes too. Daff is there with the M4. Ape is going to fall down in Chicken Coop. And now Death, it could be the, the man on the spot to do the damage, but Automatic and Scar both come in for kills. Android, that drop is going to bring us back to an even playing field. It does slightly favor oh. the CTs as Surreal smashes Automatic through the chicken coop wall. He was already low on seven health, but that AWP shot is going to count all the same. Nothing with his Tech-9 has dinked on towards Surreal, finishes him off. Now it's all on Android. He had a rough last map. Can he make amends here? Oh, he's making Nothing a read. is playing the position to perfection, though. He's going to be darting around the back, Android. Wow, he has him dead to rights now. Yeah, he's surely going to get this clutch now. Nothing just has to peek around the corner. Oh, and Android gets him! Oh my gosh. He, I, I guess because of how the how the bomb was planted, Android had to look up in that direction, I suppose, or assume that he came around. But yeah, that was uh, he he made the appropriate read, it seemed. Really close. Really, really close. Wow. This sh uh, and he actually got three kills in the round. This shot from, from Surreal, he's... Dirty wall bang. Automatic was very hurt, but like that was nuts. 
That's five rounds now. The Complexity have won on their CT side. Cloud9 unable to get just one on the board. So we are getting to that point now where it's it's in the realms of possibility. You know, you said that they have to prove to us that they can make the comeback. I think they've definitely made the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was like that was like a one one on one where Cloud9 had basically all Tech Nines moving into the site. So kind of sketchy, but they did they did summarize a win. Bottom line, I guess. And it's the the rifle rounds before that that they've won uh, pretty decently as well. Mm. They're starting to rack up now. Android throwing his incendiary will stop them from pushing drop just now. Smoke after it. Could keep them on their tiptoes for a little while longer. This is all a delaying tactic, and considering they only have a smoke and uh, three flashes left, have they blown their utility too soon? Tough to say. Yeah, this round, they actually ended up using it a lot earlier, I want to say, or just like all of it maybe a little bit more quickly. Probably didn't have enough money for like just everything they they wanted. Android gets... Has to throw his flash, but fall out of e box and drop control has been taken. Def is just playing this passively, because as long as they keep players out here, they, it requires two now. But as long as they keep them out here, then uh, both sides are secure and it's fine. Oh, Stewie gets a kill. I think he knows Def is still alive as well. Def getting the better of him. Ska watching his flank and getting that, surprisingly enough. And Def of rotating in the site, but automatic is just below him to take his face off. Uber and surreal. Last line of defense, last line of hope for complexity. Automatics in a solid position. His left hand side is covered by Skadoodle's AWP. And the last player shroud on the site. This is going to be a difficult triangle to burst through, and complexity realize it. They've read the situation. They decide to peace out instead and try and yeah. keep this $9,900 worth of investment alive. If we could see that smoke. Oh my gosh, I thought you just did math. I was like, wow, you're insane. <laughs> Nope, at the top of the screen. Yeah, um, but that smoke wasn't deep enough, and you could see the corner of it. You'd have to, they would have had to put part of their body into it, yeah. smoke blind, and that would have been awkward because automatic would have been right there to to deal with them. And uh, and that's it. They had to sacrifice, sacrifice the win there to hang on to the op, as you mentioned. And uh, Cloud Nine, thirteen to eight in a formidable formidable position. It's surreal. Are actually buying behind this? Can't say I hate this decision just because. Um, because of the save, uh, I mean, because of, not because of the save, but because everyone else is just kind of low. They're in a, a complexity in a tough spot no matter what. Looking at 14 if they don't win, and there's no way they're going to have an op next round. I mean, this this could very well be a last chance saloon for complexity, you know, in this kind of playing field. Up, AKM4, couple pistols. That smoke is going to connect on yes. the plat. Actually extinguishes the Molotov. Coolsmoke.com. So unfortunate timing as far as complexity are concerned because they utilize one of their few grenades. I think they're only incendiary on that. Is drop control going to be aggressed upon? It seems... Not sure. Flash isn't had. So Surreal has done his job though. And it's gotten a kill and I don't even know where from. We still have another man on on B plat and it looks like he's making his way into A so that they can overstack the other side of the map. Interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that pick was on B platform. Oh, on plateau. Oh, one player spotted at long B. That leaves death pretty vulnerable. Molly will force him back. Isn't death is running alive a little bit down to 48. Automatic pushes out, 33 seconds left. And now the T machine is moving along. Risk pace, automatic with the second kill. He's not going to get any more. He's running out of bullets anyway. Stewie 2K is next up to the plate to try and deliver something special. And now it's up to nothing. They line up for him and he will spray them down like dominoes. 14 to 8. Jeez. Complexity. Probably onto another force. Oh. It's probably going to be all over. Maybe, yeah. That was, I mean, that was masterful. Like the way that they got out into the site. This on the fly smokes. Everybody was throwing one piece of utility. No one was getting clogged up. Every time a smoke was thrown or a Molotov was thrown, they ended up having somebody um, able to get onto the site. Automatic got all the way out onto the onto the site through his own smoke, and then um, yeah, made it really difficult. Even though it was like a no smoke strategy, uh, they were going one at a time, and the the pieces all fell into place. Very coordinated, and a lot of onus on your on you individually to be able to do that. Beginning of the end, maybe. Complexity starting to sink. Their ship is capsizing. Stewie 2K with the headshot onto Uber. 
can see that Ape is desperately trying to get some information, just some something going his team's way. Was thinking about pushing up aggressively in mid. Decides better of that decision. And this could get him killed from Automatic, who's starting to come around the back of the long side. That being said, Def is the other CT remaining. 21 health left. Nothing is going to try the pop flash peak. Doesn't quite pay off, but because Def is so low, he will get the frag anyway. 5-7 reigns on in for Ape. Four more players to find. There's the first one. No more. Pretty good peaks, but uh, yeah, no, no more. Cloud9 on match point, map point, series point, I suppose, and uh, a series of two best of ones, and that will leave them after this in the in the in the score. I don't want to guess, I suppose, but they've lost one map. It was like they've won seven or something like that, seven or six. Yeah, I think like six to one, I think. Yeah, I think it's, they're like six and one. Six yeah, two, so now they'd like be. That. Potentially eight and one, maybe nine and one in ECS, leading the scoreboards for NA. Quite impressive. And Ska, I think he sees him, but uh, huh? Did he? Yeah. He, wait, can you see that? I'm like looking really close to my screen right now. I think he may. I have think he seen, saw it, but, but because wanted, his body was covering it the whole time, yeah. he didn't think it was a person. Or maybe he wanted the guaranteed frag uh, rather than the just the leg shot. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure what's going through his mind. What we do know is that complexity have got the first kill but the T's have forced their way onto the site. Now, this is going to be telling because if Skadoodle doesn't come up here or call that he did spot a player in danger, then Surreal oh, could very well start to burst out and get some frags. So this suggests to me that he didn't actually see him. Because surely yeah. the call comes through and someone's watching long now. Yeah, that's true. I love that that setup from uh, Android, just waiting till the smoke pops, knowing that someone will probably just peek afterwards to make sure no one jumped out. And trying to get the damage in. Uber gonna be moving on, but there's actually two people on this lower ramp to cause problems. Automatic also getting a kill, nothing. Joining in the fun, and Def, the last man alive on the flank, the man that you uh, made mention of, has uh, a clock ticking, ticking down. And that ticking is gathering an alarmingly fast rate. A good avenging kill by Shroud. 16 to eight, Cloud9 will take the 2-0 as expected over complexity. And uh, with style, I think overall Automatic was just shy of 60 kills collectively over those two maps.